Okay, so started recording. Um, we're having technical problems with my internet and the stream, and apparently I'm robotic to everyone, so we're gonna wrap up a bit early this week. Unfortunately, this on occasion happens, but eh, one episode in about 40 getting fucked due to technical difficulties. It's a livable ratio, so uh, experience. Uh, Dwayne, what have you learned? Jackalore? Uh, oh, I have learned that you shouldn't go fighting mimics alone. <laughs> That's right, the gold didn't even count. <laughs> well, yeah. Essentially, what you did, causing a gazebo to come alive and come at him, broke his brain for a bit there, and then it was too late. Mm -hmm. I mean... Can you frame it in, in character terms? Because your uh, character wouldn't necessarily know that it was a mimic. Yeah. Well... Dwayne has learned that he should, uh, before he engages the enemy, he should call for backup. I love how he's still assuming that weird furniture is automatically the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> so no one to call it the, after he ate his fucking friend. Never trust the fucking gazebo. Yeah. He's going to be stupid with, uh, uh, with every piece of furniture, isn't he? Okay. It is our ally against the brooms. Oh my fucking then god. Then the gazebo eats you and you're like, fuck. It allied with the brooms. <sighs> Trail. <laughs> so, Connor, lesson learned. Uh, his choice might not have been such a bad one. I mean, uh, Mark would seem to be a nice guy, somewhat. He just associates with asshole demons and uh, Malkavians, right? Yeah. To be fair, I have I have gotten six plus successes every time I've done this with him now. Yeah. He's probably pretty convinced. Yeah, at this point, it would be more a question of something trying to shake you out of it than you needing to reinforce that, I think. I think... Yeah, at this point, he would be convinced, more or less. Yay! Though, at least partially, know, that's up to him. You him forcefully or anything, which is exactly what I was trying to avoid. So, Marcus. What has Marcus learned? Marcus has learned that the enemy demon is surprisingly sloppy. In what way? In leaving a body like that? No, in leaving nothing and taking nothing from the opportunity. Just killed the guy that was in there. Left all the weapons, didn't set any traps. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, fair enough. I mean, it... yeah, we lost one guy. We got everything else we possibly wanted out of there, though. I mean, it's not like he's trying to juggle hunters, dirty werewolves, mortal authorities, camps, sabbat, and controlling his own servants. As I said, surprisingly sloppy. <laughs> well, for being claiming to be go a god, fuck yes. You're absolutely right. <laughs> So, uh, 
That leaves Danny. What has Danny learned? Mommy is a very bad person. Very, very bad. Do not mess with mommy. Yeah. Uh, in terms of uh, awesomeness and or roleplay, personally, I'm mo probably most tempted by uh, Danny because uh, of roleplay. Because I think... I'd give it to Danny. Yeah, because even though yeah, it was a situation yeah. that was kind of, you know, throw him for a loop, he, I think he did a good job of... Uh, uh, Dealing with it, in character. Mm -hmm. So... <laughs> Dwayne... What gives you the courage to go on? If Nothing. anything... Nothing. My friend... He's dead! Oh my fucking god. Hi. I'm... I'm tempted to bring him back as a right now just to fuck with you, but... Probably not much reason for... Unless the Earthbound does it, actually. I'm gonna have to look at those powers. And see if uh, he has the required levels for it, which... Eh. Uh, so, Connor, what gives Connor the courage to go on, if anything? Yeah, the idea of saving the city. Mm hmm Okay, Marcus. Uh, I can't think of anything specifically this time, because that would have been if there actually was traps and stuff. Which is why he said that the demon is... Surprisingly disappointing. Mm hmm. Uh, oh, wait, just come on. Uh, oh, yeah, we're not doing the justification. Uh, we're just. Doing yeah. Other thing. Uh, well, he is managing to slowly form a, a kind of resistance, hopefully. I'm just going to continue calling it the resistance. It's not the best. Uh huh. Sure. And it, it it really puts our situation in perspective. So <laughs> Yeah. It it kind of does a little bit actually. So as we we are not the man in this one. We are uh, definitely the exactly resistance. Yep. Sorry. We're just gathering whoever can do it. So I mean, don't worry. It will take him, what, uh, like uh, two weeks, three to gather enough faith to lob another rock at the uh, manor this time? <laughs> <laughs> Tremere in the sky just watches this come out. Oh shit! Gets knocked off course by this shockwave. <laughs> well, I fuck. would not actually want to be. I wouldn't want to be in the sky with that thing hitting. Yeah, yeah. That sounds like a mad, no, nasty <laughs> fall. Stamina? I no, mean, stamina, the uh, falling... The uh, falling damage uh, does cap out at uh, 10, and vampires can't really be knocked unconscious. So, well... Actually, the shockwave would hit him depending on how far away he was, so... Yeah, yeah, it would be an interesting question if he got insta torpored by uh, just the bashing of it. Yep. Or potentially lethal, depending on how if close he was. If he was flying at any real height, he'd uh, also get a direct hit from the shockwave, which is really bad. Oh, yeah. usually survive it by, you know, being behind stuff in general. Mm hmm. Yeah. Like, even just being on the ground is helpful because a lot of the shockwave gets distributed into the ground at that level. Mm -hmm. so, anyway, Danny. Yeah, he could get real fucked. Danny, what gives yeah. Danny the courage to go on, if anything? 
the, the the need to become a fucking stronger than mine because I got my ass whipped. I got killed werewolves, <laughs> cultists, and I get my ass wrecked by this crazy woman. <laughs> Oh, almost like being face to face with your sire again. In those first beautiful nights. No, bitch, dwack. You do what I tell you. Ah, good times, good times. So, um, those of you who had a wonderful justification. Uh, enjoy your willpower point and uh, damn them. Uh, yes. An extra XP point for you, uh, a three for everyone else that showed up, and uh, well, fuck Val. So, yes. Don't tell him about the mimics. No one tell him about the mimics. We'll let him find out next time if he hasn't heard yet. Yay. And with that, we're gonna wrap this up here and uh, pick it up uh, on the same ni uh, night in uh, two weeks. Jackalore, don't talk over me as I'm doing the fucking outro.